Hello YouTube, um, well Pokemon Master here for uh, part 2 of uh, my Let's Play of Fire Red. Um, before I do anything, I just want to clarify a few things. Um, I forgot to save my game for the first part, so if you notice, my Kevin is now a female, so yeah. Also, um, I was not aware of YouTube changing its time limits. So, um, yeah, this part's going to be rather, not rather long, longer, as you will see. Um, and another thing, I'm sorry for, like, my bad camera job, but I work with what I have. So, um, saying that, what we will be doing today is delivering the parcels to Professor Oak and also possibly catching a new Pokemon. So... Let's head down here, hop the cliff, on the way back. Oh, I gotta also pick up my um, potion again. Whoops. Um, yeah, that makes total, complete Nintendo logic. Or, mix. Mm, whatever you, you get it. Getting something from a PC. This makes total sense. Alright. Go upstairs. I'll get on my PC. I could check mail. I could do everything. But I can also get out... It's Nintendo logic. Like I could actually pull something out of my computer. <sighs> But anyway, let's talk to Professor Oak. Um, you gotta love the music. Yep. What is a parcel anyway? I have no idea. Oh. <laughs> Test some Pokeballs. Okay, my bad. Oh, uh, and of course it's Chota. One of those things. Uh, two of them. It's probably going to give them to us. Yep. Pokedex. Now, a Pokedex lets you... It's like an encyclopedia of Pokemon. You see a Pokemon, you get its image or whatever. Um, and if you catch it, then you um, get pages on it, and it tells you about it and all that stuff, which is different from in the anime. And in this game, like, the main mission is to catch oh, at least 60. So I'm going to try to catch at least 60, a bare minimum. Um, unlike in other games where, you know, you have missions and stuff, this is basically just to catch the Pokemon. So, which I don't know anybody that tries that. Um, I know people that do the Elite Four, and they think that's beating it, but it's not. Alright, and as always, we follow behind Chota, because he's always in the front. Let's go visit his girl, uh, girlfriend. <laughs> his sister, one second. Got the town map. Um, I know my way around, so I'm not going to be using the town map, but I guess I can open it for you guys real quick. The whole land of Kanto. And that way is Johto. Alright, let's see if we can avoid all wild Pokemon. Did I get Pokeballs? I don't remember. Hmm. Oh, more, Nite more Nintendo logic. How come Pokemon can only stay in tall grass? Why can't they venture out into towns or, you know, walk around outside of tall grass? It's like, there's like a force field or something? I don't know. It's confusing. Alright. We'll take down this Rattata. Or Rattata. However you may want to say. And we grew a level. 
when we learned and that's going to come in handy in the Viridian Forest. Which is where we're heading next. Uh, water. Is there a dude? Yeah, there's a dude there. Oh, there's something this way too, I think. Yep. I think it's a potion. Yep. One potion. That little thing right there is uh, a little mini tree thingy, and you um, access cut later on in the game. That's how you get rid of those. Well, but they they come back. It's just like something blocky. Back that back this way is the Pokemon League. So you get to you know be close to the Pokemon League right at the very beginning. I'm not going to walk that way for reasons, um, but I will be going that way later on and possibly this part. Just walking on down the road. This, this is a, this is a, um, battle place, I think. No, no, nope, only, my bad. My bad, forget I even said anything. And then there's this old famous man right here. And of course, his legendary catching of the Pokemon. Let's watch it all. I hope he catches it. He only has one Pokeball. One, two, three. He got it. Yay. He, oh, man. He bowed. All right. I think that just tells you, like, if you're confused about something, you can watch it, and it gives you hints. But we won't be needing this. <laughs> Alright, this is the Viridian Forest. Um... There, this is full of bug Pokemon, um, and Pikachu, I'm pretty sure. So, we're going to be catching our next team member here, so. Cross our fingers. Name that Pokemon. Weedle. Will I be catching Weedle? Maybe. Or maybe not. Come here, little pokin' poke Pokemon. Caterpie? Let's find out. Oh, critical hit. That did a lot. Nope. Not look like we're gonna catch a Caterpie right this second. Will this be it? Uh, it's a Pikachu! Let's see if I can catch it. Thunder shot. Please don't kill me. Yes. You are mine, Pikachu. One. Two, three, gotcha! Yay. This is our second member of our party. It has small electrical sacks on both of its cheeks. If threatened, it loses electricity charges from it from the sacks. That's creepy. Yes, I would like to give a name to Pikachu. But what shall I call him?
There we go. Alright, well, I'm going to head back to the Pokemon Center and heal up, and then we will be back on our way. Hello, YouTube. Um, we're back, and I just wanted to give you a few notes. I trained uh, Pikachu to level 6. Um, so, let's go back up and let's go through the Viridian Forest. And then we have to take the long journey up to the Viridian Forest to get to the Viridian Forest. On the road to Viridian Forest. Skip this patch of grass right here. And we enter the little rest stop area. Is that a rest stop? I'm not I'm not sure. I think it's a rest stop. Alright. There's a few items I want to get in here. First one's right here. We got a Pokeball. And we get a wild encounter as well. Ooh, Metapod. Burning hell. <laughs> yeah, the first gym leader is gonna be a pain. I have a fire type, not very effective against rock and electric type <laughs> so yeah not very good so I'm gonna need to do all the training I can here so every wild battle I'm going to be fighting in potion those will come in handy during the gym and a wild battle okay let me talk about this Weedle versus Caterpie I prefer Weedle more than Caterpie because I think Weedle looks so much awesome, more awesomer, I guess. Um, great. Uh, and why am I scratching? Oh my god, I didn't even have to get poisoned. That's stupid of me. Um, and Beedrill, Beedrill could kill Butterfree any day. You know, Beedrill is like a bad A. Well, Caterpie, or um, Butterfree's like, me Butterfree! <sighs> I hate being poisoned. Alright guys, I'm, all right, I got the eye Marty. Alright, well, um, I'll be right back. And that is why you should always bring antidote, antidotes. Ah, I can't talk today. Alright, uh, let's not try not to get into any more wild battles, but <laughs> before we do anything, we're going to fix this. Uh, there we go. And our first battle is right here. First Pokemon battle against a person. And it should be easy. Starts out with a Weedle. My favorite bug in the first gym. It's no match for my Kevin. Kevin grew to level 10. Oh, I can't wait till you evolve. I love how we get money for cockfighting. Especially later on in the game when you get a lot of money for it. That's the good stuff. You have three Pokemon.
Alright. Kakuna. And he is down. Alright, so we beat Bug Catcher Doug. Huh? I ran on Pokemon. No, you didn't run on Pokemon. I just made him faint. It's not your fault. The Pokeball here. Oh, and look, an antidote. I could have used that earlier. Thanks, Nintendo. Game freak. <laughs> Trust me, I won't go easy on you. You won't even get an attack off. Kevin needs to evolve before the first gym. And in my opinion, there's nothing wrong with being overpowered, because if you're overpowered, that means you trained. So, if I go into a gym, like, really overpowered, then I think that's okay. Especially later on in the game, you'll find out that I do everything I can before I go to the next gyms. So, there's going to be a big gap where I either fight no gyms, and then there's a big chunk where I fight, like, four gyms. So, just a heads up. I don't know, some people might like to do it that way. I like this guy. I like what he says. Do you know Pokemon Evolve? No. I did not know that. Thanks for telling me. I would have never known if you hadn't said anything. Metapod. Metapod looks so weird. Kakuna actually looks decent. Let's go, Kevin. Let's go. Woo, woo. What is y'all's favorite starter? That would be a question for the video or whatever. Who is your favorite starter from the first gym? And tell me why. Metapod. Ember. It's super effective. Alright, three more levels till it Yes, metal call. This is what we needed need for the gym. See in the first gym first gen, not gym, uh there there wasn't metal claw. So if you pick Charmander it would be really, really difficult to beat the gym. But metal claw helps a lot. In fact, let's test it out on this little caterpie. Instant KO and a crit for good measure. They come down here and you get a potion. I feel like I've missed a, an item, but oh well. And then we have the last trainer in Viridian Forest. Sammy. A level 9 Weedle. I thought he had a Caterpie. I guess I'm wrong. One Ember should take it out. And I was right. Yay for criticals. And then we're back into another rest stop. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey. 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 Look at me while I'm talking to you. Look at me. Look at me. 
Yeah, screw you. I'm making a good little patch of grass right here, Route 2. Okay. The gym is located over here. But wait, how do we get to it? I guess we'll find out in the next episode and we will also explore the city. Thank you for watching. See you later.